So, um... This is the second video... Second attempt at doing the end game that Camtasia literally ate! And I can't record the game with fraps. What am I gonna do about this? The problem is that... I think is that there's so mu many projectile and small finite detail or something. It's like Camtasia can't handle it for some reason. I'm gonna try and like just abruptly cut the video or something uh, once the fight starts at like 10 minutes and see if it works from there. I don't know if it's because of the cloud overlay. And I'm very sorry for the attitude I have right now, though, but I'm just completely baffled. I just... Now I'm at the point where I kind of want to get this done, which is very unfortunate. Because this is a very good endgame. And it's just being destroyed here in video form by stupid outside elements that I can't deal with. And I don't know why. I can record Mario X awesomely with Camtasia, and the uh, screen window is huge. Ugh. It's kind of too bad here, because this is really a fight of, you know, of the team of Jeremy and Alan, with uh, Light slash the artist and the Hexor. As you can see, if you try to hit him with your stuff, basically with anything, uh, it doesn't work, unless you hit with your normal thing. Uh, you can scan the muffins. The muffins, you know, are part of the game here. And they are fully, uh, basically, uh, you know, they they can attack. But, you know, they, they're cripple points. They don't have any, because it's a muffin. And I really like to point out how we basically got to destroy the thing we've been going through the whole game to uh, try and get. I think that's kind of a, it's a neat touch. Also, uh, there's a uh, light here. I'm gonna scan him too. Kind of reminds me a lot of the alien monster transformation end boss of Mega Man 2, actually, which we haven't seen in Mega Man of the Limelight for some reason. Uh, yeah. So no, Treasure of the Rudras is a game I don't know. And uh, basically, hello. Because you can't actually use much of your skills or anything like any of your elements, it's totally okay to just basically reserve your uh, your magic for, you know, healing. So that's pretty handy, actually. And, uh, you know, when you do enough damage, about halfway of this bar, uh, the, 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 the muffins go all craziness, and you'll notice uh, that uh, lights no help there is charging. Basically, they're mutually healing one another, because once this part is done, the, the muffins all heal back up. Then, uh... XR is not a fan of this. Oh man, but I'm starting to get low already. I need a heal. And oh no, wait, no! <sighs> but then we had to deal with other platforms! Okay, so let's... Uh, Fortress Laser is gonna go over there. I still... That's not very... Well, uh, then over there. Stop teleporting, man. That's cheating. Jeez. Oh, Stop making bad jumps there, now, Cal. That's cheating. <laughs> oh, jeez. Is the safe? Not really. Okay, there. Oh, thank you, Jeremy, for bringing back the platforms. I can now breathe easily using my lungs and dessert. I can't play the game, though, for some reason. I I'm, guess maybe I'm too raffle or something. I don't know. Again, I extreme apologize. But, uh, I do it when I can here. And stuff. Oh, come on, bullets. Okay, I'm just in terrible positions to do anything here. It's craziness. Okay, okay, no, where are you at? Where are you? There you are. Hello there, artist slash light. I'm going to claw you forever. And ever and ever. Until one day, I just magically kind of end up being in exact spots, not get hit by bullets. It's very great, and here I got, like, the luxury of time. Not actually sure how much time you have to destroy a given muffin each time. All I know is that I don't lose any chance to just put myself in position and just hammer at them. Because again, you have the- oh jeez lasers. You have the opportunity to heal. So use that opportunity. Uh, wait, oh jeez. Yes, there's a single laser, I'm gonna run right into it. Uh, dude, there's a single laser and I run right into it. Doesn't need the additional help. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, jeez, this is starting. Um, so this is a lot of lasers. If you're a fan of lasers, this is a one-stop stop for you. It's a place where you can stop. It's pretty great. Jeez, destroy the world! Just, ah, uh, take everything! It's not working! Why is tanking not working? Ah, oh, jeez, no, 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 uh... Okay, I'm actually kind of... <laughs> Oh, that's still funny. <laughs> no more lasers. A video game. Buy lasers. Four lasers. Where are you even at, Lord Bartholomew? Things in five minute chunks or so. Looks like Hamilton's just gonna be able to handle it. Okay, okay, where are you at, actually, nerd man guy? Nerd against nerd, the nerd wars. Oh man, that devastated all the social climates. Okay, actually here I'm doing alright. We just made basically a deal against, you know, removing all lasers and I'm gonna get hit by very, very slow projectile. Well, actually, you know, slow projectiles are just as dangerous as fast ones. I mean, a big part of the reason why Chun-Li's Fireball is pretty okay is uh, in, you know, Street Fighter is because it is so slow. It stays on the screen a long time. Oh no! I keep forgetting about that part. <laughs> My platforms. I like to platform. I cannot platform if yes, please, Jeremy, fix this very quickly. Dude has learned how to do lasers without actually, you know, connecting to it and it looks super awkward and cut off. <laughs> All right. So, oh, jeez. I guess it is just the super density of projectiles that make Camtasia poop itself. I have no idea. And you are in a terrible place to be hit there. Uh, Guy man, so I'm just gonna take the opportunity to heal a little bit. Whoa, I can jump high! Okay, thank you, Jeremy. Also, a platform. <laughs> just gonna hit you in the face. Oh, jeez. That's just gonna heal forever with a laser in my face. Oh, I guess this kind of works. I was wondering how I'm gonna be able to... No, now I've destroyed the strawberry, perhaps on not the optimal time. Oh jeez, gotta hit that banana. There we go, banana nuts. I am nuts for banana, but I am not nuts for yours. Whatever that means. Okay, waha. <laughs> okay, now he has a different attacks too, because you know he has his little magical orange there. Because he just loves tropical fruits. Corporate takeover, more like corporate. I'm running away to ha heal a little bit. Oh Jesus, that's his laser spam. You can tell it's a lot of lasers because they're tiny and there is a lot of them. That's how you define a spam of something in video games. Whoa, I got giant jumps for some reason. Okay. It's gonna be very useful. I'm not afraid of your stock options. And uh, where are you at now? Stop moving around. Why are you always moving around? Uh, always uh, stay put. It's better for me. Very well. This is actually pretty good timing. Let's go and uh, destroy the green. No more! Bacon, even though I keep thinking it's men, because bacon, mushroom, muffin, it's not mushroom, just feels kind of gross to me, I don't know. Here's something. Oh, my platform's again! World is over. Hey, there you are. Ah, uh, da, da, da. Dang it. Oh, man, am I everything? Not just my platform, also my health. Keep not noticing. Oh man. Alright, buddy. That nah, platforms, we need those. We need those in order to platform. They are get back here. No, you're not oh no! My slow! My speed! My fast! My everything! Oh okay, I'm going to get you any Oh I'm gonna run away! Uh, 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 this is not working. Oh laser! I cannot dash! This is as far oh jeez! Let's heal. Let's heal. I don't want to die. This is not a time for dying. This is a time for having lasers in the face. Okay, okay. Things are being restored back to normal. Not my, not my dash, though. Oh, jeez. Hey there, darkness. How's it going? You got a red text. They're pretty scary. Uh, it doesn't mean you're necessarily the evil guy. Well, you're just kind of like chaotic. Well, not chaotically neutral. It's just true and neutral, really. And Looking out for number one, which in this case is you. Okay, am I... Am I safe? Okay, I got my dash, I got everything. Finally, okay. Okay, thank... Oh, and everything, the platform's good. Uh, 
Also, you know, uh, Kanukapu, uh, Kaputapu, Laser Time, something, words, words, words. Okay. Okay, where are you at, so that I may ask you where you are at. Get back to where I can actually harm you. Good thing your oranges now kind of tell everyone out there in the big grid world wars where you're gonna be at. Hey there, lasers. Hey there, lasers. Hey there, lasers. Hey there, lasers. You look pretty today. How's it going? Okay, don't die, self. That would be a bad thing. Somehow, I've somehow puzzled that one together myself. Oh no! Please? Okay. Yeah, remember you can see the health of relative stuff down there in the bottom corner. Okay. Okay, jeez. Okay, jeez. Okay, so what's going on? No, there's nothing more I can do. Everything is over. Heck yeah, I've got life recovery for some reason. <laughs> Whoa, no, 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 the laser, that's right! The worst part! Ah, Gotta heal, gotta heal. You can't dash through those. Uh, okay. Okay, and I gotta hit you somehow within all of these confines. Uh, gotta hide from everything. That's a way better strategy. Oh, jeez, 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 jeez. No hate for games. Uh, whatever that means in this context. Oh, yes, please, Jeremy. Get rid of the world for me. I would appreciate it. You know? Just heal. Ah, oh, there we go. Thank you. you. Took your time enough, but thank you. Not enough. Not enough pancreas in my stomach. Forge laser is not something that interests me in terms of mealtime. Epic or otherwise. Okay, come on, there's just the one muffin left. It's purple, so you know it is, in fact, within a home somewhere. Oh, gee, sunburst! The holy rays of the greatest of all pastry desserts. Finally, all upon me. I'm gonna destroy you, and I'm gonna destroy you, and then I'm gonna go home and say, Hey, look, I've destroyed a muffin. Hooray for everything. <sighs> yes. Oh, wait, really? Well, that doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Like, my claw just makes so much more... Whoa, walls! That's not good. Hey there, guy. How's it going? Uh, so I'm just kind of cooking this thing. Get out of the ground. Why? They're just... Oh, jeez, fire. Fire's not good. Okay, so I still, like, I can hit you with physical attacks. I can't hit you with any elements still. Craziness. Just gonna keep clawing at your general lower area until you die. That's a very good strategy that's applicable to many, many domains. Also, I can hit the feet. I mean, technically, the feet are in the lower area. I mean, they're the lower how the body. My vampire beds kind of help me a lot. And I think it's kind of crazy how, you know, like, every third hit basically does a full lot more damage. And also, his, like, breathing visibly or something I just noticed and that's kind of gross you're kind of gross Dr. Light corporate takeover I forgot what it oh it's this attack let's heal it sounds like a good idea you know what I like about healing keeps me alive <laughs> even more than a bambet probably but that still helps too oh geez heck yeah down to the red bar finally uh, 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 uh. hey where are you at there you are down to the red bar, finally, I said. Stop right. Legal personality. That's barely an attack name. It's a terrible spell card theme you got there, buddy. Okay, so I'm just, yeah, I'm using my good old, you know, the best strategy in the world. The oldest strategy in the world. And thus the most efficient. Legally. That's how it works, right? I ain't afraid of no magma mines. I ain't afraid of no chicken bones. That's not true. Oh, shoot, now you're invincible. No! I'm invincible too! See, I can heal! Ah, oh, jeez. That's almost being invincible, right? Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, what? What are you talking about there, Jeremy? I know you have an idea. You've been getting me through a lot of poops through this uh, land here. Rave mode? Don't even have it activated. Ah, oh, jeez. What are you talking? Okay. Well, kind of don't want a game over here because this is kind of... Kind of harsh battle to restart. Okay then, man. If you're ready, are we ready? Whoa! Oh, jeez! Fell in the fire. Ah! Okay. The world is white. The world is white. Oh no! The world is red. Well, this is totally not a video game cliche. Oh man, not unstable. Well, oh, heck, sorry, you're still there. Dang it! 
I, I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now. The reason why I think... It <laughs> Yeah, you know, big props for making this engaging, even after I played it like three times. Okay, yeah, I gotta go. Yeah, and also, by the way, I once already actually allegedly died from that timeout, so, uh, it's a, it's a thing. Gotta hurry up here. We literally got four minutes, and we've got worlds, there's a small passage, we got a dash, we got a dash, we got spikes in the face, remember that you can still heal. Hurry up. Oh no, the morph ball! Wow! Yes, it's a morph ball! And yes, you can morph ball! Let's not question the, the details. Uh, you can't, like... Well, you can't dash, because as soon as you press up, you unthing. But, uh, and you can't heal. And, uh, thank you. Okay, middle, top, middle, bottom, top. Middle... Okay, gotta watch out for the road of this. Top. This is Mario 1. Middle. Bottom. Oh jeez, and top, okay. And yeah, you can go a lot faster in more ball for, you know, logical reasons. You're a sphere. You're not as affected by friction, right? Is, dang it, this is going terribly! You know what, whatever, I'm just gonna use this instead. Okay, okay I don't want to get hit by everything here, that's not good. Okay, here we are in a place that kind of looks like a place, but don't be mistaken, it's actually a place. Yeah, uh, oh jeez, no! And I have a tendency to press up a lot for some reason on my controller, and I have a tendency of just getting hit by freaking everything. Just eat, 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 and be alive. Eat and be alive, Alan. Okay, okay, just go to here, go over here. Yeah, it's, it looks like a maze, but you know, most of the spokes aren't that long. And it enables us to go, okay, you need to do it from this way. Very well. Hi, jump boots. I can now jump as if I was jumping high. It's pretty great. You can go in pipes too. It's pretty great. Hurry up! 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 No more! No more hurry up for me. I don't know what I am saying. I'm gonna need to blast off to get up here and get over here. Quick! 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 Whoa! That was not on purpose. Again, I'm just pressing that up button all the time. It's pretty great. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some skills. Okay. Oh no! It's a shaft! Now to have a half shaft. Okay, blast off. This is actually, I find, allegedly kind of difficult for reasons that I've explained before about, you know, the joys of going uh, on very tiny platforms in this game. So now we have very explicit time limits just kind of staring at us in the face. The original commentary for this part was ah, 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 for pretty much a whole period. It was pretty fanciful. It's too bad you missed out. Okay, um... This is still hella stressful though. Oh jeez, and you know with... Oh no, Alan's moon jumping. It is not an improvement! Ah, shh! No! That probably killed me. That probably legitly killed me. I'm not... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I can't believe I did that. Well, let's give it a try, I guess. Jump. Ah! Oh, no! I wanted to go up! But I pressed up for dashing at the same time. I'm probably not gonna make it here. Probably... Okay. Uh, yeah. Also, here we get a friend. Hey there, monster guy. How's it going? Please destroy the world for me as I'm trying to somehow survive here somewhat. Oh, no! Okay, yeah, buddy, uh, okay, follow me. Got more stuff for you to destroy while I'm trying to s s survive somehow, I guess, is a word that is ah, Let's eat some more, let's eat some more, let's eat some more. Come on, guy. Got some words uh, of you to destroy. Destroy the world, my friend. Just casually walk all over the world, my friend. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, no, there's a barrier. Why is there a barrier? Go away, but what the hell happened there? I don't know! I don't know! I don't know! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Ah! Quick! Quick! There's a thing! Okay, I got a thing! I got a thing! I got- there's a little map! I made it! Yes! And the countdown has appeared! Hexar! Go to hell, Hexar! Did you- you literally killed Hexar, Jerry- De Jeremy, that's- that's- that's kinda scary. <laughs> and, uh, oh come on. Oh come on! Oh come on! Let me get out, let me- oh jeez, well the timer kind of went out there, but, um... Okay, so, can't destroy anything here, because there, there, what's this, can I scan, can I scan this device, it's a map device, no, it doesn't do anything, uh, there's a red thing here, can we scan, no, the barriers, come on, dude!
<laughs> this game's writing really, really surfaces when it's making fun of video game explicitly, and not necessarily when it's trying to exposit in an anime sort of way. With that said, when it does the job good, it really does it really good. And it's really good about telling a story through the video game, which is something I've said in the past. The thing that I love about this end fight, it is much more a fight between um, Hexor and Jeremy than actually Alan and the Artist. Basically, Alan and the Artist are the weapons of like the two mastermind control characters there. So that was... Pretty great. Again, it kind of kept me engaged for like, this is the third time I fight the thing. It just works very, very well. Basically, what we've got here uh, is a sequel hook for the sequel, which I will play, just not uh, now. Basically, I'm gonna might as well say that while you're reading the text, like I'm giving you plenty of time. Um, it's just basically end game shenanigans here. Basically, uh, after this, there's a tiny game I want to do, and then afterwards I want to do uh, Mega Man and Limelight 2, which was recently released, and afterwards I'm going to sequel light uh, Destroyed Tha Story Travesty. I think it's good, like, space them out just by one or two games. And there is X, Mega Man X going away. <laughs> Yay! Now we have consequences! <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And then we whisk away the consequences. <laughs> really digging the darkness. I like that sort of all logic critter. Although, you know, it, it's kind of handled pretty well. You can tell it's written by a person that has absorbed a lot of media about that sort of thing. And, you know, write about what you know, in this game it's video games and kind of horrible cliché, but kind of played well, I find at least. And there we go. <laughs> hey there, X, you are back. Oh, no. <laughs> and thus, Alan joins the Maverick Hunters. <laughs> He still has his little elemental sphere when he teleports. So that's how the world goes. Ah, <laughs> uh, indeed. And whenever trouble arises, we'll believe in our hearts. Unnecessary capital W. <laughs> well. <laughs> I wish I, we could see the game through the eyes of Jeremy, in a sense. It must be, just be so the weirdest thing. Though he is technically sort of like a sort of god-type character. Which makes it interesting, cause, because he still cannot affect things literally. There's Zipherburst's opportunity to just shove his name all over the place here. Ah! Uh, Still feels nice. It was a lot of trouble to record this for some reason, but I believe it was worth it. Martin Pisek. Physics and control, which, well, if controls are tight. They're just not good for some form of precision. You know, we've got birds, we've got horses, we've got all the animals in the world. And, you know, there's sprites and tiles by companies. <laughs> No, for a fan game, also, this, the credits are huge, with a lot of actually, you know, different names, not just Zephyr spammed all up the place. Then there's a huge amount, well, there, of people there for the, <laughs> there's the big old friend we had! He, uh, he hurt us a little bit, but it's not our fault if he has poison skin. There's some names in the list there that I recognize from other communities, such as, no, the Super Marvel Central community, and uh, Mugen community too, like Kung Fu Man there, assuming there's only one on the internet. Oh no, it's a board off. 
Yoshi and then there's Rolly Mounds. Do you remember those that were rolling around in the world? Where they were rolling around? <laughs> and you know, video games. Ah, but yeah, I just love this game. I'm aware it wasn't all necessarily the best LP, but um, even though it wasn't necessarily the best RP, I still think it was a lot of fun. And, and I think it was really, you know, enjoyable. And I'm really, really glad that I could, you know, bring attention to this game to at least a handful of people. Uh, I think it was worth it, personally. Again, it wasn't all the optimal, wasn't the best, but LP in terms wise, but this is a really good game. And uh, I don't know what's with the discolored dancing sprite, like what it's from, or where it is, or what it's for. There's the little music playing dog! He can sing pretty good, uh, considering his voice is computers. It's pretty great. And then there is also, you know, dancing Kirby. And also, donut looking hills. Well, more like cakes. But, you know, also more music. There's a lot of music in this game. And again, it's something I've realized is kind of lacking in Super Mario World is that there's a lot of effort to, you know, make good music. But sometimes you realize the limits that the, um, the, 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 the sound font, but whatever. Also, you know, this is one of those bits, though, that ultimately just pointing out that the credits are kind of long does not excuse the fact that they are kind of long. Uh, I, although, to be fair, there's a lot of guys here being mentioned, and, you know, they all have their reasons. A lot of, you know, communal effort, even if sometimes, you know, it's communal effort of the internet, where people, you know, make raw materials on the internet to then be used for more complex projects. It's kind of similar to how science works, actually, you know, between raw science and applied science, which are both as important as one another, they're just aiming to do completely different thing. As a first, again, I'm super glad uh, that uh, you know you made this game, that you joined the forum to give us a lot of like insight on the game, and help me out with some patches here and there, and you no know, adding tildes but between the D and that adds a lot of class. It really does. Oh yeah, you get ranked in this game, and I think it's incredible that. You get ranked for the entire game, considering... I don't know, how long does it take to beat the game? And if you're playing optimally and you've already played before. Although I like that I'm being rewarded for not using Rave Mode a whole lot. Though I did use a... I get a C, which I guess is a passing grade, but I died a lot. Perhaps. Shifty eyes. And here's the second part of the ending. You can tell because the hub there just says the story of travesty. Oh man, Alan is on his back, enjoying the rest. All the world needs help. Taking a break. <laughs> and now is, you know, where the music just kind of plays along. It's pretty great. And stuck on the fourth wall, someday you'll get off. Although he could kind of, like, god himself off, technically. It's true though, and uh, did I rank high enough? Oh man, I don't know, but I got a C rank, so I've got a strict minimum. Honestly, I'm kinda curious what you need to do to get lower than C. Uh, considering I didn't play that well. <laughs> and you can actually S rank this game, which is crazy, and apparently it unlocks a thing I have. No idea what it could be like. I literally just don't know. It's his knowledge I don't have. Let us see what the world has to tell us. And here we go! It's a bomb! No, it's not. It's a thing. I actually have no idea what it is. I'm assuming it's some sort of in joke or something, because I cannot parse that thing other than a machine thing with large feet that's holding a gun, maybe. Uh, otherwise, I, I, it's a very, like, it has a sort of, like, alien xenomorph head kind of helmet. <laughs> well, there is a sequel. I don't know if he was really thinking about a sequel at this point for reals at the time. The 
this is pretty much describing your own game there. Just a bit depressed. Oh, well, it will continue one day, Alan, don't worry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, ostensibly. People always try to find ways to entertain themselves after a nap, because that's the most entertaining thing to do! <laughs> this is true. Well, that's true, even in the enemies and stuff. Well, you just heard the man. <laughs> Again, you just snared the man, people. I shan't comment more. And uh, one day, you know, we're gonna get control back. However, it's not gonna be control back here. I beat the game! I beat the game. I got a little star between the four in front of my muffins number. Well, this is Rao Cow playing the store to travesty. And join me in a couple of B-sides when we play the sequel. Meanwhile, we're gonna be playing other things. Once again, the Fireburst. Good job. Goodbye for you again, Mr. Video Game.